Hi, I'm Patrick from Patchworks, and this is just a quick video showing you my gaming setup, all the pieces I use, how I put it all together, and how you can do the same thing. It's probably simpler than you think. I can play pretty much anywhere I have cell service, and it's mainly just getting the pieces and putting them together. It's nothing all too complicated. Let's get into it. All right, well, this is my setup. You can see my screen here. I have it on a mount. My controller and headphones are hung up behind it, and then my PlayStation and the power plugs are in this little slot down here. The screen is an Asus ROG gaming monitor. It's a pretty new technology. I'm pretty sure it only came out when USB-C charging came out. For whatever reason that allowed this type of screen to exist it's incredibly thin and portable it has its own lithium battery inside of it so you can charge it and then have a four hour runtime just on the internal battery um, without having it plugged in so if i wanted to take this out and play on a picnic bench or a friend's house or something like that i totally can um, and my jackery can then run the playstation and i don't need to worry about charging this it's a really nice screen. The resolution is really good. It runs my games really well. I'm not a giant gamer at all, honestly. I run Rocket League and Minecraft mostly because my friends play it and I like playing with my friends. Um, but it's not something I do all the time or take super seriously. So if you run super big games or games that take a lot more energy or computing power or whatever, I really don't even know how that works. This system might not work for you. But for simpler games, this works really well. I have the PlayStation plugged into a power plug that just runs for my inverter in my solar system. It's a 1500 watt inverter and it runs this stuff with absolutely no problem. I have 170 amp hours of lithium and it really rarely feels that when I'm playing games. My battery's pretty much always charged. I have solar and an isolator and I can plug into an external outlet if I needed to. So power is not really a huge issue and this doesn't really draw much power. Like I said, if I wanted to run it all with a Jackery 500, I totally can and have. The screen itself, like I said, is an ASUS ROG. I think it's like a 15 inch. I'll have a link in the description with everything else I talk about. They are affiliate links, just so you know. I have to tell you that. And this mount is a TV mount for an RB TV. So you tighten up these bolts and everything locks up and it doesn't move when I'm driving. I had to build this wooden flange for it so that the screen can fit in it. But what that allows is that if I do want to take this out and go play in a friend's house or somebody else's van or whatever other random place that I wanted to, I can slide this screen out. It has a built-in kickstand and I can bring it wherever I'd like. The other cool thing this does is that if you have a Samsung phone, there's this thing called Samsung Dex, which pretty much allows your phone to become the computer and this to be the monitor. So it's not just screen mirroring, it's a totally separate system. You touch a little button in the corner and it opens up a separate thing to control the screen. You can watch movies and shows. Anything you do on your phone, you can do on there and then do other stuff on your phone. So if you have Samsung, Samsung Dex is definitely something to look into. Apple might have something that's similar. I'm not a huge fan of Apple, so I really don't know. As far as the wires go, that was kind of the trickiest part for me when I first got it. I had to buy all these different wires to see what would work because some were compatible and some weren't. I don't know why, but in the end, the wire that came with the screen was actually the best one for it, which obviously makes sense, but it wasn't working initially. It's an HDMI to micro HDMI, and then it also comes with a USB-C to USB-C to charge the screen itself. So those wires work well, and then if you want to connect your phone, you're going to need a female HDMI to a USB-C adapter. This one is by Anchor. It seems like it's high quality. It works well for me. There might be others that do it, but there's some that don't do it too. So having something that is compatible is important. For connection, I just use my hotspot on my phone. I'm with T-Mobile. If I have good cell service, the connection works really, really well. I can play Rocket League and Minecraft mostly with no issues. If there's bad weather, it definitely gets worse. And sometimes with the voice connection, like in voice parties and stuff, it'll go on and off a couple times before I guess it settles in and makes a strong connection and then works for the rest of the time I'm playing. So it's definitely a bit annoying, but for just using a hotspot on my phone and not needing a whole separate hotspot or plan or anything, it works really, really well. 
again, I'm not a super serious player, so it's not like I'm running hours and hours and hours on this thing. But when I do need it, this works really, really well. The downsides of using the hotspot connection is that if your games need to update, it's pretty much impossible with a mobile hotspot. So this being portable is nice to be able to take it in somewhere where there is good Wi-Fi and update everything. I have to do that every once in a while. It's not really something you can get around. Um, and sometimes that is a bummer. But it's definitely a lot better than nothing or not having the capabilities at all. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's pretty simple. It's my PlayStation powered by my solar system, connected to this screen and connected to the internet using my mobile hotspot on my phone. It works 90% of the time, lets me play when and where I want. And that's really all I was looking for. It's a pretty simple setup, something you could copy pretty easily. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I'm not much of a tech wizard, but I'll do my best to help. Other than that, I hope you're having a good time and I'll see you next time. Bye.